Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's good to be with you again on uh, this, uh, well, I, this is Thursday recording here, but I guess you're seeing this on Sunday, so happy Sunday, everybody, and uh, well, let's just open with a word of uh, prayer and, and a bit of scripture. Right? We'll do the scripture first here. This is 1 Peter um, chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. It says, but in your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. So always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. Let's Just with that in mind, let's ha just have a word of prayer as we begin. Heavenly Father, I thank you um, that you give us so much hope. And you give us so many reasons to have hope. You've given us um, yourself. You've given us your love. You've given us the free gift of uh, salvation forgiveness of sins. And Lord, as we uh, think about these things, uh, Lord, we have so many reasons for hope and help us to remember those things. Help us to remember those things so in, in days that don't seem uh, that great sometimes or seem kind of hopeless, help us to remember that we always have hope and uh, that we have a reason to hope and help us to um, be ready to share that hope as well. And Lord, as we uh, go on through our service this morning, I just pray that you um, uh, will just be in our midst, Lord, in our hearts. Um, um, speak to us as we worship and as we go through the word and through the various activities of this service, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 